Or... OD? Uh, I don't feel like this is really a big nerf. Um, it's just a noise. What? I mean, Items. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. A lot of people use a buckler to proc it and use the um, tranquil boots, and that was nice reasons mm -hmm. to get those items. And we saw people even rush bucklers for that reason. But OD is still damn to dominate the mid lane because of yeah, you know, astro imprisonment. You might miss but it. I still, I never thought that should be in the game. So oh, the item that's triggering. A good change. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see. I can see why you don't think it should be in the game. It makes sense. Well, like, okay, just, um, during our boot camp, Sam and TC were 1v1ing OD, and they both got the same items, Trinkle Boots and Buckler, and TC never procced or his Essence or ever, mm -hmm. and he had such a hard time. I think he even lost the game. Like, it's a big deal. Okay. Cool. Taking out the RNG. You gotta leave some in. I don't think this is the one to leave in, though. Yeah. No. Okay. PA now crits on Siphling Dagger. Oh my god. So <laughs> first of all, for, for what it's worth, I think it's a lot earlier, better in the early game too. Because the extra 10 damage helps you last it, and you definitely use Siphling Dagger to last it early. Mm -hmm. um, sure, you have lower damage later on, but whatever, you crit off of it. And it's spammable as hell. What is the, like, what are, what are the numbers? Like, can someone do calculations? On what it looks like. Well, I could look it up. I know it's not pure damage. It's not pure damage with heroes. Like, isn't it half damage with heroals? It's half damage towards his heroes, and then a half damage crit, right? Fantastic. This is gonna be a nightmare for Visage birds. Like they already get owned. I see. I'm I'm clicking on Dota 2 Wiki right now. I'm actually curious. I'm gonna do the calculation right now. Uh, Coup de Gras yeah. is at max level 450 percent crit. So 450 of 180, 90. That's a fuck ton. It works out to that. It's free damage. Free damage that you never got. That's pretty cool. That's I pretty cool. PA is already a very pickable carry. Yeah. We see Alliance, we see Kai P picking it. Um, any reason why we don't see more team picking it? Um, I think it's just those teams have a really wide variety of pulls available to them at, on their carry rolls because they're not really afraid to experiment. Mm -hmm. Like Loda and Eternal Envy, obviously they'll do things out of the ordinary. They're not afraid. Uh -huh. that's, I think that's why you see them mostly playing it um, compared to other teams who Six to don't the really same experiment thing. much. Yeah. Definitely viable though. Yeah. Is it going to spill blood like when it shoots? <laughs> Maybe. Or when it crits? Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be... I like how we're talking about the competitive implications, and you're asking about some visual. May I don't know. I mean, okay, if Rod of Atos <laughs> shot lightning and volcano spawned, like everyone would buy it. I, w so I, I agree. Are I, I agree. Yeah, that's why Rod of Atos nobody buy because it's just like what? So subtle. It's like yeah. what? I mean, what does it do? That's a good point. Spare Lance mm -hmm. is now dodgeable. I like this because Me too. it's so annoying when that Radiance Lance comes in, and you're like, God, there's nothing I can do about it. It's like, and the thing is, when when he shoots that thing at you, and he has the defusal too, like butterfly and manta. Oh yeah. Just, Actually, oh that's gosh. how big is it? The fact that you can dodge it. it now that you talk I about the fact that radiance and or not radiance, big. defusal, butterfly, and heart. The hero's already fallen out of favor and received a couple nerfs. Mm -hmm. This is just gonna be like him trying to cancel my blink dagger. I blink away disjoints. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So here's he's, a he's just not. Yeah. Here's a big one. We've been at crying about this one for years. Why can't Pudge <laughs> have Blink Dagger? <laughs> Is he competitively viable? Like really competitively viable? Not just Dendi, you know? Dendi does things. Yeah. That's nice. He is. Because not not even just because of this, but because of all the previous buffs to his strength gain. Yeah. He's a monster late game. He really is. A lot of yeah. people think Pudge, you know, just hooks and, and dies, but he's I mean, obviously a hook, good hook wins the game, but I, I've seen people just get an AC on him after an Acceptor and just right click for like like the best of them. But That's great. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think the build now is? You, you go solo mid punch still, and then you get a Blink Dagger first? Is that the core now? I guess. I mean, I, I, like, I really liked Four Staff. I don't know if Blink is better. I need some playtesting. 
Yeah, I'm not sure whether Blink is better because Force Staff gives you regen, gives you uh, mana, which he definitely is. Mm -hmm. I feel like Blink, it's like, yeah, Blink dismember. I, I actually think that Blink is your 40-minute item against the BKB carry. 40-minute item? You know, uh -huh. one of those late-game items that's a counter to BKB. It's like how Basher so, is, you know, gone after to counter BKB. I mean, I guess it's they can implement it now because doesn't it hook them to the location where it was fired and not to where you Blink back? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Like, in the last patch, they made it so when you hook someone... It's gonna go back to the place where you cast the hook, no matter where you are. Ah, uh, so you can hook and blink up to a cliff. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that, does, that applies to this, right? I I think the original worry was you blink yourself up to a cliff and then you hook, and that's why they added the unpathable mm -hmm. ledge thing. Um, I guess it all Navi Navi made them nerf fudge and <laughs> give them this. I mean, if, if you want to call this nerf, and also this this member scepter strength multiplier increase. I mean, how do you sh do you just say, hey, the guys, they have punch. I just pick queen, pick queen on pain and shut him down massively in the lane. Is that is that the thing now? I guess he's. I mean, he's always gonna have those issues with leaning, yeah. unless he has a favorable matchup or a good amount of support. The one thing that I was asking uh, my team was that. Are there, like, is there any abuse to being able to hook your teammate into a position where free pathing or five seconds does anything? I mean, it's... I don't know what the implications are. I mean, it's probably nothing, but something to think about, I guess. I'm thinking that you know the patch of trees on the right side of Roshan? That's, that's what I'm thinking, too. Uh, yeah, thick patch of trees. I think that's you can make, yeah, make a lot of stuff happening there. Um... I don't know. It's very interesting. Who knows? We'll see. But then your pudge is stuck somewhere, and then you also, also blink dagger. You didn't. You didn't hook them, and you blink daggered. All right, it's it's nonsense. You have force staff too, man. It's not just the playing. You have blink force. All right. All right. Anyways, decryptify now makes allies not tank much. That's cool. Uh, amps awesome. increase. Cool. Nether wards. Uh, I love this change with the nether ward now like requiring more hits. Cause normally, mm -hmm. like late game, they just one hit that thing. You're like, okay, that's that's nice. And knife string now drains mana, which when they're full HP or when you're at full HP, which is it's crazy. He Wait, has mana heals, issues, though. right? Yeah, targeting here. I thought it was creeps. Someone oh. said it was everything. No, then you would have just like really full mana, full HP Is all it, the time. You could farm like all day. Yeah, I think someone read it wrong when they said this. Um, that's really cool though. Yeah. And uh, the nether word like. Yeah, like in late game, the carries can just one shot it, and isn't that the whole idea of Pugna besides being able to own towers? Like, he's he has this ability called Nether Ward, and you hardly ever see it do anything because people just focus it down. Yeah, with this. There's been so many buffs. Wait. There's been so many buffs to Pugna, and his like decrepify ability. Like, it makes these things like Tombstone really nice, and being able to decrep your own um, ward, and even like. Do you remember uh, Quantic when they had Gold Black and uh, fucking Mad? When they ran they, that, they had that strategy. Tri lane. They had the strategy with the Bane, the Bane and the Pugna, and then dying. And when they decrepified their own teammates, they wouldn't die. They would, this would benefit that type of strategy. Wait, I, I haven't seen that. It, Is it like decrepifying him, he, nightmare him, healing him, that kind of stuff? Yes. Like it's just all these things that stop you from being able to focus the target. They saved so many people like that. Okay, so I think it was during Dream. Obviously, this adds way more to that aspect if people want to run something low. You know, when you have things like Living Armor and a Photic Shield, just more way to combo onto that one. But yeah, why why don't we see Putna? Like that's that's a question to me because li like a lot of other heroes, I think he's really good. He is really good. Um, I mean, traditionally he was ran as a solo mid. Like, can can he just not own mid still? Like, he just he's a great bottle crower. He he does well. I don't know, I, just, I think there's not enough love Pugna. We'll see him. He, he's good. Okay. We'll see him. Yeah, I, I hope so too. Queen of Pain got her mid lane nerf a bit. Um, she loses, that's pretty big. Actually. She loses the lane to DK already. I, that, at least that's how I feel, based on what I see. Um, does she yeah. now not win more lanes? And, and in fact, if, if she doesn't win more lanes, are there reasons to pick her anymore? Because I feel like no. her weak game is very mediocre. Or mid game, yeah. Yeah. 
it's true. If she doesn't have this snowballing type of laning phase, she really falls off. I think this just hurts a hero that was already dying and getting kicked out of the meta. Man, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's get some grief part of the patch lock because <laughs> I don't know how you feel about people staying invisible. Because Slark is another one that we'll talk about later. But come on. Like, you don't play support in, like... in pubs, but, I mean, just imagine for a second, you're running into Ricky every other game, and you walk up and they smokescreen you. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is kind of unnecessary. Yeah. But, I mean... I, I, I Have you I not thought know. of it? I, I think it's the Ricky da Dagon strategy. You just walk around invisible, shoot people out of the air, and they don't even know. What's the point of that? What do you mean, what's the point of that? You like, just kill them and they don't even know you're there. Right? Then you can do the same thing with Tree. Holy shit. That's a tag team now. In fact, <laughs> you're all five could do that. <laughs> it's not good. Okay. I, I don't think this change of permanent visibility to, to be more of a serious note brings him back to the competitive scene. And now with Wisp not yeah. having that stun... Same, same, same thing, right? We're not gonna see Ricky anytime soon. Or you will we? know that he's there when he casts Smoke Screen, mm -hmm. but maybe because of this range buff, he can kind of edge out of the dust radius, though it's quite big. Right. And why would he even be silencing you anyway if he didn't intend to kill you? Like, is he just being a dick? <laughs> Walk up like, to silence you and silence blink you. strike away. Is that is that it? Yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah, but I I don't think we we're seeing Ricky anytime soon. He he has yeah. his uses, but yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Rubik, big nerves. You play Rubik a ton, uh, and Rubik yeah. gets pretty far in the late game. Acceptor must buy. You think? I love this change because there's there are so many times, so many games where I'm like, man, if only I could just steal another spell. Like, if Telkinesis was just five more seconds less, I could do so much. And I'm just like spamming my R button with this. If I can get this, which I should be able to do. So it's very, um, it's very cost-effective. Like it's cheap items that you can get in parts. Mm -hmm. It's just like Rubik's are going to be even more of playmakers with this change. I absolutely agree. I, I mean, love this change. There's an interview that Kuroki made during TI3, and one thing that he said was uh, his Rubik didn't have as big of an impact in China because the players there did a very good job protecting their spells. And now it's not mm -hmm. just coming down to what do you do to do a good job protecting your spell. Now you just can't. I know some one thing I, I I like to do quite a bit is wait till I see Rubik spell steal during a team fight, and then do my black hole or war or whatever else. Now you can't. Now yeah. you just have to drop it and pray that you had to kill him quickly or he misclicks or, or something. Like it, you just can't protect your spells, and that's a big. Is this a return of a solo mid Rubik, or do you think he'll just stick to the stick to the uh, mm. support? I think position? he'll be support still. Okay. He's a, it's just, like, he does the same thing he does from mid as a support, which is why he's just better as a support, I think. Um, like, the way that I like to explain Rubik to other people is that th the reason why he's one of my favorite heroes, probably, like, my top two favorite heroes right now, is because, you know that video, Rubik's got the moves? No, I haven't seen it. It has the, the moves like Jagger. Okay. And he's just, like, walking around. Cat stealing everyone's spells and screwing them over and just like dancing through <laughs> okay. all the heroes. That's how I feel. Like when I play this hero, I'm just weaving in and out of fights, stealing critical spells. Just you know, I, it just feels so fluid playing this hero. Because and now with this acceptor, that's amazing. I feel like you could do this way more. I feel more. like I'm, just, I'm gonna be able to do so much. My question is, do you, do you at least for me, right, and for maybe the the players out there trying to learn Rubik? I sometimes feel overwhelmed because in between all my activated items, the spells, like the telekinesis lift I have to cast precisely, the fate ball you should throw whenever it comes off cooldown, and now every five seconds I have to select, and it seems like it's very difficult to play a really good Rubik. Do you have any tip? I know this is not really patch lock yeah. analysis, but... Well, for me, playing Rubik, a lot of it's just, you, you steal a spell, like, steal a spell with the highest chance of getting something great. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, from a Windrunner, most times you, if you just click on her without knowing what she casted, you're going to get either Power Shot 
or Shackle Shot. Um, and there's also heroes that just can't do other things like anti mage, you still blink. Right. Before you get into a team fight, or just anytime you get your ulti, you just steal a spell. Steal a spell before a team fight starts. Like if they're pushing your base, just steal any spell. Mm -hmm. Don't think so hard. Don't 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 leave your spell like don't leave telekinesis, you know, for some big black hole. Steal a spell and then steal a spell in the fight. Right. You'll do a lot better if you don't overthink it. Or get F Scepter now and just steal whenever. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. Uh Sanking. Sandstorm DPS, that's great. Epicenter slow is now the same as movement speed. Ten percent of that yeah. I didn't even notice like the movement speed slow on BKB heroes to begin with. Like well, 30 it doesn't seem that significant to me. I haven't seen it do like massive amounts of damage. All I see is like Sanking blinks into BKB heroes and then it does no damage and then like he runs away or dies. Yeah. Although I don't see it like crippling them. Everybody else without the BKB just dies, and I don't think the attack speed matters either way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shadow Poison AoE increased. That's cool. Have you seen that triple stack okay. video? Yeah. That's amazing, right? That's really cool. Yeah. The four, I think it's a 44, and then yeah. the stack. Makes it a little bit easier for whatever. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> the Mass Serpent Ward looks now like a box. I'm not sure if you've seen picture it's of really it. It's really weird. Yeah. I, I think it's just going to be extremely easy to war trap. Like, I think anybody can do it now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've read an interesting uh, comment on, on Reddit. Somebody thinks that it's easier to break out of war trap as well. Because it's so oh, true. so clear that you know which war you need to attack and get out. So, Yeah, that's hmm. that's that. I, I don't know. Shout that's out interesting. Sh is Shaman even picked for support anymore? Seems like he's somewhat fallen out. Not really. Yeah. But... This gives him more I'm damage, right? Uh, way more damage. Yeah. I I always wanted to try whether you could double and triple stack ancients and ward, and get yourself massive levels. And I tried, and it doesn't work. So, just want to <laughs> share that fail attempt with everybody. Sanser now yeah. has uh, intelligence steel. Cool. I I always thought it was it was supposed to be like this. I'm not sure why it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. It's nice. Skeleton King. He keeps they getting buffed. Mortal Strike. Yeah, so what does it actually do now, the passive? The the aura? Or you mean the crit? Is this just a crit now? The crit does nothing. It's just a crit, I think. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess Mortal Strike didn't cut the bill. How big, good enough. How big is Vampiric Aura affecting range? Is it even a factor at all? It's it has to be a factor. I, like I don't know. Like, life who picks this hero anyway? Who picks this hero anyway? But it, I, there has to be like, it has to be really good. But the like, who picks hero? That's, that's all I gotta say. I mean, you pick him. Oh, I never tested this, and I wanted to know. I'm not sure if you know. Oh, it's range unit, so it's like Everybody. even like Forge spirits and idol and stuff. Everybody. I mean, I don't know why you're. So there's, gonna like some, there's gonna be some cheese put strategy with like Lycan and Skeleton King and Necro books. Sure. I'm not sure what they need lifesteal, but... And Vro. Okay. No, no, no. Lycan. I said Lycan. Wait, what? Lycan, Drow, Skeleton King. Uh, and Necrobook. I didn't hear the Skeleton... Or Drow Ranger. I was like, why? why is, okay. Do, <laughs> do you know if Bloodstone works on Skeleton King? <laughs> no. Can you heal an AoE slow and come back alive? Would you pick a hero to farm like 4,000 gold? To do nothing? I know, it doesn't do anything. I'm just wondering whether that works. Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. But what you're saying is, even if it works, it, it's ass. It's not ass. It's just like... <laughs> I, I don't see it becoming like this very versatile pick. Okay. So much as something that you combo or... Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. put in the strategy. Yeah. So, I, I guess you don't see him coming back, and I agree with that as well. So, Scarif Mage, Axe Scepter, Lozy. Can you spam until it's your crazy. mana pool goes out? I know all of us are it excited. It costs a lot of mana, though. Yeah, it's 800 per pop. How much do you think you're going to actually spam? You're not going to spam like 10 of them at, at once. Unless you have like the item tier okay. of a god. If you have a clockwork and you double ulti on someone, that's so much damage. Who can survive that? Nobody can. Like you, you clockwork, disrupt their ulti, and Skyrath 
Mystic player. Like, they don't even have BKB available to them. But obviously, that's like three heroes that probably wouldn't be together. Honestly, do you ever like, see Skyrath, for, first of all, getting this amount of farm? So it seems like it's being in mid position. No. And really. Yeah, it has to be mid. Yeah, and we, we saw Skyrath picked today. I think uh, Alliance picked it on S4, and mm -hmm. it did okay. Or no, 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 actually, no, 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 Asian played, it. Was, was played it. Yeah, or Aki. No, he was Tree. His name was Tree. Right, Aki was Skyref. It just feels like when people yeah. pick Skyref, they picked it for the silence. Maybe for the added benefit mm -hmm. of a big ultimate, but it's it's not for the missive. This is your pop stuff, and you guys could be yeah. creative about your the pop stuff. Okay. It's, yeah. Silence is the big deal. Not this. Yeah. So, yeah. Slardar, I like the, the no mana cost sprint. That's nice. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. He's, he's already very mana starved. What's the issue with Slaughter? Why don't we see him in pro games? His mana pool is so small. Like he is, uh, He's a really good hero, actually, but I don't know. He, I think people play him incorrectly. Like, I feel like he's supposed to have a blink dagger and put on pressure as opposed to farming a lot of items. It's just, I think he's just the wrong way of playing it, the hero. He's a good hero. So do you, do you say he's something like, you know how Razor is get a mech and start doing stuff. Slaughter is get a blink dagger and start doing stuff. Is that kind of it? You don't get that one row farm and yeah. go arm the BKB and whatever else? Oh. Yeah, okay. No. How many times have you seen Burning pick Slaughter and lose? Every time. <laughs> except, Every that one, time. except that it's one like recent Joe game. Yeah. Except, uh, it's like what? <laughs> Joe and Necrolite. Like before, I just saw him lose every single game. Yeah. Like. I don't know. I, I honestly think that Slaughter, I, I I think remember we played a pub game together and this like random pub Slaughter was just, just destroying us. I'm not sure if you remember that game or if you were even in that game. Was but he the support Slaughter? I don't know, but he just came out of nowhere with a Blink Dagger and was just shredding people apart. I think that's all you need, Blink Dagger and go to work. Yeah, but that's anyways. all you need. Slark, no longer reviewed by True Sight. No. That you, makes no sense. Can you <laughs> say goodbye to your pub days? I really don't want to play pub okay. anymore. It's like, if I queue into like a Chinese guy, he random slark, it's like, it's done. <laughs> okay. The cooldown has like, been hit really hard though. There are, I mean, I remember the old slark where you get off two shadow dance in a long team fight, maybe even three. Now that's not yeah. even possible, so. Does this mean that you can dive their base without ever being hit by anything? Yes. Like, what? Wait, 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 wait. Like, all the way into, like, at you know, their throne. You could kill someone at their throne. You know how Bloodseeker is, uh... Like, he can't see people in Viz in his ultimate? You, don't, you think it's yeah, kind of like, like that? Them, right? you, could, you could still attack them. Do you think this is kind of the case for Slark? They're not reviewed, and you can't target him, but can you, like, auto-attack? Oh. Maybe, maybe I'm the... That would make balance. I don't know. That sounds like it would be kind of balanced. But at the same time, you but, still can't stun him. But there's still AOE stuns, right? Burrow Strike ground targeted, that Impale ground targeted. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just don't ever want to see Slark in my pup games. Unfortunately, we'll see it every game. That's the sad reality. Already pisses me off. It's like, when you play Puzzle and Sl or Slark, you just see like so many Sentry Wars being dropped because like you can't contain this guy. And then what's the point of buying dust? There's no point of buying dust. Yeah. And it's like... No one's gonna buy a gem in your pub, and if they do, they're gonna lose it. Like, this hero's gonna own. So now what? You you'll pick heroes that have AOE stuff, and that's it. Oh, does it? Do, do these things include like track and and Slark, or Sardar's ulti? Yeah, they are like, true size spells. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's GG. I guess you just run away from him or something. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Sniper gets more attack range. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs. Move on. <laughs> Why does he always get buffed? Wasn't there that patch he got like... I remember his take aim was so ridiculous. And I, I'm surprised nobody plays him mid. But, you know, that's just me. This is really... Anyways. He's trying to push Sniper into the game. Like, he tried, he tried to push a uh, tree in the game and made him broken. They like... You just have to give Sniper 30 base damage at level 1. And then they'll pick him. Apparently there's a new uh, League of Legends hero. Don't ask me why I know. Actually, Link and I were talking about this. Right. Um, that gives you a uh, 
AOE cleave on impact by hitting people. So uh, maybe that's what Sniper needs. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, Spectre now can continuously you use reality on your illusion. Can you see that's that? So cool. Can you see the DBZ effect? Like you could there, just. I mean. Go yes. through the entire freaking team. Be like, yeah, I kill you, and then I kill you. But uh, honestly, <laughs> for for actually how I would be using it is, I get gank on Spectre, I haunt, and I reality across the map, and I'm like, oh shit, there's three people here. And I use reality one more time to go like on the other side. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Yeah, you should you be can. daggering into the trees. Up. Yeah, but you know. There's just... There's gonna be a player like there's someone's gonna make a YouTube video whoever it is, is if it's Eternal Envy or Loda or somebody some carry on the pro team or Vos yeah he's gonna like kill someone reality rift across the map and kill someone else and maybe even do it three times yeah that's gonna be sick maybe you it's get a rampage crazy. off of that you know like that's gonna be sick like I I I could get behind spells like these it's fun it's very interesting it's fun. it's it's cool to watch and honestly it's a nice buff like you, you can't you can't argue about mm -hmm. anything against this. So it's good stuff. Oh. She needs a buff, so I think she does at least. Anyways, Spear Breaker, nerfs, nerfs all over the place, rescuing my pups. I think he like sucks now. Does he actually sucks? How many times do you see Nether Strikes go off simply because he it disjoints like a stun yes. or something? Yes. Every time. If he has to cast 1.2. There's no way he's getting that off. How long like, is actually might, 1.2? Tell take me. Less damage. Give me something as a comparison. How long is 1.2? I don't know. Is Earthshaker just, Fissure? I, is, is Earthshaker Fissure 1.2? Not even close, right? Like you, how no. you lift the totem and slam it down? No. Um, Wait, is it? No, I don't think so. I think that's like 0. Point something. I feel like 1.2 is like. Well, how about this? No. Requiem is 2 seconds, right? So half of that. Sure. Okay. That's that's I just, far too. Long. I just think. I just think the fact that he doesn't jump into like space cow nether region and pop out is like gonna hurt him so much. So I don't know like, who I made a bet they, with, but I think it's gods. And I said him spear breaker is gonna get nerfed. He said he doesn't believe me. I'm just well, don't you have like inside information? No, I don't. No, actually, I do. I right. do. Maybe I don't know. What a your bet! This is some three two two shit. <laughs> you like, you know. I know some things. I don't know everything. Oh to, my gosh! To be fair, I do know that. You made a bet and you knew. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I, it wasn't really a bet. It was like a e prime bet, which doesn't worth anything. It isn't worth anything. Anyways. All right. Okay. This to me, Sven Stormbow is now dodgeable. It just ruined Dota to me. Like I don't know. I wake yeah, up the sun. No, I wake up, I wake up, and I know the sun's gonna come out from the east, right? And I walk into a game, and I know that Storm Bowl is not gonna get dodged. Remember, <laughs> remember that one, uh, one World Dota video where somebody Manta dodged a Storm Bowl? And it was like the yeah. most amazing shit ever? Now it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, we'll phase it. Or not phase it, we'll, we'll blink it. Eh. Why did, like... Why? That's the only thing he can do. Yes. Why would you take away the only thing he can do? Can we spend two minutes ranting about this? I don't know. It's it's disgusting. Yeah, it is it's disgusting. Like, I thought that they patched it in to like his stormbolt always hit, and then they just take it away. Yep. Like he has two like his warcry shirt that's activated. Warcry is actually really good. Like, I don't even know. It's really good, mm -hmm. but he's. A, I mean, okay. The thing is that, he, like, he just cast this one spell, and that's all he can rely on, and you just stripped it away from him. It's like, I don't know, it's a bit sad for Sven, tear shed for him. Tear shed? Um, tear I don't shed. even know how many things are now dodgeable and dispellable. I like my Dota complex. Yeah. That's that's all I want to say. Kraken Shell now blocks uh, from blah 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 to blah blah blah. Whatever. Does this actually Who affect the like debuff proc at all? Maybe Tidehunter can own Brood and lane. <laughs> but you think Brood's the worst here in the game, so okay. Well, he, he might not be anymore. Like, okay. I don't know who 
who would be who there. Will take, but, who will take yeah. the space. Chakra Monocost <laughs> now, uh, you know, goes to... I like this. Okay. I, I like I this. Think this is so annoying. Timber Salt is too annoying in pop games, especially. He's just very, very tough to deal against, so... This is this is competitive, though. Like, like someone like Funic, right? Mm -hmm. He plays offlane Timber Saw. Once he gets 6, just say goodbye to your pushing potential because you're never going to take the tower. And it's so spammable. It's like, at least... This is gonna nerf him, and it's gonna take away from that a little bit. But it's still gonna you know, be there. I think, I think the buff to it before was unnecessary. It was just people didn't pick it, so they wanted to draw more attention to him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay. It's it's a small thing, but it, I li I like it. Okay. Tiny getting some some buff. That's a cool story, bro. Uh, tree and protector. Yeah. Let's see. Lich see the. Pre I think he sucks. He sucks. What, what, what's the big deal here? Rebalance from 15 second cooldown all the time. Oh, the mana cost. Okay, I can see why now. Like, I don't know. He's just not the, that tree. Unless you're just really, really patient. I mean, tree and protector still can be the one that protects you from a gank. But you can't just lob it yeah. out randomly, right? We got so many nerfs to that ability. I think in a pro game where he's a support hero, he's not a carry hero, okay? He has to pull this small camp and he's leveling super slow. Mm -hmm. And like he can't zone the offlaner because the offlaner is all the way at their tower. And like he's just not going to come up and right click them. And he can only cast the ability like once every 30 seconds roughly. Like, is he going to hit level 5 during the laning phase? I don't think so. And then like it costs so much mana. Yeah. And, and I, don't know. I really think the jungle, like you said, really affects him. Can you tell me why nobody ever warded off the pull camp against a Treant? What? I don't know. I don't know about that. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like a Treant that's getting free level is like old school or like now is really annoying, right? Why nobody just lob a ward there? Because he'll counter it. I don't know. Like there are wards that are hard to counter, right? Especially on the Radiant jungle. I just never see any people even I trying guess. to do it. It just feels like, oh, we'll just concede it to him. I, I just I mean, usually, a lot of times when people pick tree, uh, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes they pick the big junglers, and usually your priority for warding is towards the junglers. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could say that for any hero, though. Like, what? Why not deny all the heroes if if they could do it, they do it. I think. I mean, like, to answer, uh, at least like, things are more experimenting with it. Yeah, like, yeah, sure, you could deny a visage from pulling, but a, a visage could be, I don't know, ganking or harassing a lane. If you deny a tree from pulling, what does he do? Stand there and look like a tree? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I was confused. <laughs> um, but it's it should be countered. I don't see why it wouldn't be countered unless you like went aggressive. Anyways, I mean, can you just say, hey, Treant is the same tree, hey, the cooldown is even better now, I'm gonna just get a Clarity, and do my stuff even more annoying. I'll get a yeah. Soul Ring for tree, if I need to. That sounds pretty sketch, no. But you know, you see what I mean, like, is this even what you will call a buff? Can you call this a buff? Because the cooldown is so much better now. I guess, but I mean, it's not, it's not like the old, that old tree that just was super good at everything. Except <laughs> the cooldown. Wait. Maybe he's probably still good, but like already you already see only several games out of every hundred. Yeah. You'll see a tree. So like why why would you pick tree now more than you do already? Like you'd pick him if that was part of your plan I guess. But there's so many things to experiment with. Why would you go to this hero that does nothing? I ask myself every time I see OD entry, why do people pick this shit? But, you know, they win games, so. Alright, Troll Warlord, Berserker movement speed, this makes more sense. It forces you to level it up, Berserker Rage, that yeah. makes sense. Whirling Axis on melee gave a damage nerf. I, I, it did way too much damage. It, it did, especially the fact that it gave you 60%. I'm surprised that the scaling of the mischance isn't there, too. But I'm okay with that, you know, the That's damage okay. nerf is, That's okay, yeah. is fine. The damage was huge. Yeah. So now he doesn't do like 200 magic damage at level 1, like between his range and melee. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. So I think Tro is, you know, powerful, but this is a good balance change. 
Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. Tuscar. Frozen Sigil needs a constant amount of hit. Three, three, four, four. Um, same reason why I like this uh, with the uh, ward. So, mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Decay steal, longer duration. I think this is big. Why is this well, big? I like this. I don't know if anyone else. Well, early. Well, obviously, yeah. uh, a lot of Undying play is revolved around the early game. Yeah. But if, you, if you guys didn't know, um, Team Liquid before TI3, our highest winning rate percent hero was Undying. Before <laughs> TI3? Was, I think this rough is Before TI3, that was our best hero. Wait, but nobody like, picked Undying. We did though, like sometimes. Okay. Well, anyway, was it uh? Whatever. I like the hero. Statistically, uh, big sample size. I think Undying was really good in the trial lane, right? Mm -hmm. And kind of what happened was teams noticed that Undying was uh, always offensive, so they would just say, "Okay, we're gonna dodge, and he's gonna run around and look like an idiot because okay. he's not gonna gank our mid or something. He's not gonna like. He doesn't have this ganking presence. He's just good in the lane. Right. But I think. Now they're because of the way that the lanes work, supposedly, I think his rotations in the lanes will be really significant. And the fact that you're stealing strength for forty seconds, don't think about it like this. Think about it as if he's just prepping the lane that he's in for a, a gank. And think about like how maybe how fast paced the game would be because of the nighttime cycles and all that. And just like say you're you're say you dual lane off lane and dual lane safe lane. Mm -hmm. Say a supporter or something, TP it up to your off lane at nighttime, and like, they're freaking missing all their strength. Like, right? <laughs> it's pretty good, I think. But that's just me. I like playing Undying. I can see where you're going with this. So, like, it's. Is there even another thing that's similar in, like, a Dota analogy? Like, a slaughter that just randomly amps you out of nowhere, and you're like, hmm, what's going on? That kind of stuff, right? I guess. You know, like, in pubs? Uh huh. In pubs, when I play Undying, uh -huh. a lot of times, sometimes with my girlfriend, like, we just go Vino Undying in the off lane, and we just kill tri lanes. Yeah. And, like, because of the positioning now, like, I don't even know how you kill Undying. I don't know how you kill Undying. And he might even be the key to, to breaking tri lanes. I feel like lane Undying, again, like you said earlier, it's not a hero that you want to kill. You just avoid him. He doesn't do much. He doesn't scale well. You're going to avoid him when he's, like, in your face? No, I mean dodging the lane, right? Is that kind of like what you yeah. said? Yeah. So. You can't avoid him anymore. I suppose. He's yeah. He's gonna be there. With the laning that, that you talked about. Yeah. Ventral Spirit. So we, you, earlier when we we're talking about Ventral Spirit, we already said she's already very powerful. Does Blink Dagger even mm -hmm. give? Like, sure, it gives her an extra weapon, but is, is that a weapon that people even care about? Force Staff perhaps even even better, because it's just a better supportive item. Uh, I like it. It's like I don't know if I would necessarily build it until I start playing it, but I think you can really have perfect positioning for your ulti every single time. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's no longer this case where you have to be 820 and always like standing in the right spot. With Blink Dagger, not only can you initiate for your team, but you can also hit those perfect counter initiates. Okay, so. I'm, for example, this is would be really good against a blink deck or against a bat rider, right? Bat blinks yeah. in, you know, Perfect. lasso drags you back, and you just blink, swap. Yeah. I was actually thinking a little bit more offensive. Blink or sorry, uh, swap yeah. them and then blink back and then stun or whatever. So, does that like bring them to that location? Or you mean like? No, no, sorry. You just walk up and swap them, but you know how Venge generally yeah. makes that swap and she's dead, right? It's you, good. Yeah, you blink back out quicker. So, I'm not again. I'm, <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sold whether it's better than force half. Again, when your carry is, for example, cogged, instead of swapping him, you could just force him out. If I could have the choice between one or another, but like you said, mm. it is precise. And ultimately, you pick a venge to save other people, right? Unless you, right. there's a new breed of venge that you know we we seem carry venge for a while. So, mm. anyways. Venomancer, I thought this was very interesting, so... Me too. Poison Nova now affects Invis heroes. Venomous Scale now affects Invis heroes, so... Is you this the start counter? Oh, no, <laughs> he can just remove it anyway, right? Yeah, he can. He just... Okay, what? Well, alright. Alright, Ice Frog, what a... This is like a tease. Yeah, and, and you then... You can hit Invis Fog Gears, and it's gonna affect the guy who needs it? I mean, it affects that Ricky. That's casting smoke on you, right? Whatever, Ricky. Who cares about Ricky? <laughs> 
Alright, Venomaster, Venomous Gale now doesn't do any damage at the first level. Why? I want you to level up in the previous patch. It costs one. so much mana. I know. Well, it costs less, right? And so you level up? I don't even know. Poison like, Sting. Right after, right after TI2, when everyone picked Vino, no one picked Vino anymore, and they wasn't even nerfed, and then they nerfed him, and now he's just like, gone. What's the point of nerfing it even more? It's a solo min now, man. Look at look at the poison sting and your wards get poison sting. Look at the, imagine the deeps. Vito Vito is like such a good one v one hero. Yeah, he's so cheap. Back in my day when I was new to Dota and people used to try challenge me to one v one, I used to pick Vino Mancer because I knew it was like no skill. And, and they like, just pop wards just everywhere. Wards and you win. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But I mean, it's still a Vino getting farm. So, I mean, obviously, this new set of skill is making a new way to play this hero. Is the new way of playing mm -hmm. this hero actually a good way? But it's is like, this like you know the how Earthshaker they're saying, hey, pay him as a carry, and Jan Totem got buff, right? You know, yeah. is, is this? I, I still remember those random pub games where the Venomancer just drops an O on on us, and at the end of a team fight or during the middle of a team fight, you're like, where the hell was all my HP? Like I could still seeing it, see that it being effective, but you know what this is? What? This is this is the dazzle conundrum. Okay. Where like you have to level all your skills. Yeah. But you can't. And not like, actually. Is... In fact, Venomancer skills just suck. You don't have Grave. <laughs> you don't have Weave. You know, Venomancer's dead to mm. me, right? Is it actually, dead? actually, no, 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 no. Because the whole idea of Venomous scale is not the damage. Actually, it's the slow. Okay. It's being such a potent slow. Yeah, but... So you can go one Gale. You can go one Gale. And then you can level up your poison thing and like um, rewards, and then your your rewards benefit from poison thing. So I guess in a way you're actually doing more damage. Like that's why that's why uh, Gale has to be nerfed to zero because your poison thing is gonna be doing a lot of damage. I guess so. I think it's gonna be cool, but I don't know why it costs it. The bounty is so big. Well, cause I, they're gonna be dangerous. You're gonna be spamming yes. wards. I, I I like the old Venom Masters where sure he is a very powerful early game hero and he falls off mid to late game and I like having that distinction like Crystal Maiden how she's decently powerful early and fairly weak late mm -hmm. I, I just don't like supports that are good every stage of the game like Damnaga and Rubik mm -hmm. and everything else it, it just makes it I feel like captains sure. should have to have a ch you're forcibly forced into choosing things and it feels like there are just two good heroes that you're not even choosing anything but that's just my mm -hmm. rant Anyways, Viper is now OP? Question mark. That's good. Like the the skill build that's trending in NEL is one orb max the other two skills. Yeah, and, and this just makes it even stronger. You could literally orb block really somebody to death at level one. It's great. Yeah, good stuff. It's <laughs> the actually hero is so much lane control. It's present. actually so powerful now. Leveling up corrosive skin is so amazingly. Oh gosh. Yeah. That skill is so good. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I think Viper is already a very pickable hero. Do you think he's actually like mm -hmm. a, a mid staple now at this point? With this nerf mm -hmm. or buff, sorry. Yeah, like well, not I don't know about staple, but he's like one of the very many options mm -hmm. to you. Like he's good. He's good for counter picking all the time. Um, he definitely has his place now with this. This is such a good buff for him. Okay. All right. I don't know if he's like first pick material or something. Yeah. Speaking of tanky supports, Visage reduce armor and reduce magic resist. This is the first time I've ever seen this. Aside from like Meepo having magic resist yeah. changed. That's this is as abnormal as like Nyx getting three HP regen base. Yeah. For some reason. Like, what is going on here? I just I this just is such a good this is a good change. I mean, like why? I'm a Visage player. This is such a good change. Why is that? Because like, the thing about this hero is like. He will not be nerfed. Like he's still gonna scale into the late game and the mid game, just exactly the same as he does right now. Mm -hmm. The pro the thing about this is that when you go offensive tri lane, he's actually gonna be a target. Like he's gonna have very little armor, very little magic resistance. You're gonna be able to bring the serial down, and it's gonna it's gonna balance him out in the early game. Where like you know how he shines so hard in the tri lane, mm -hmm. he shines so much. This is such a good change because like it doesn't affect. But here, like he's still gonna be picked. I agree. Uh, although it's, it's great. I mean, the lane phase. A part of the reason why he is picked is because he's so tanky, correct? 
like he's like yeah. a tempi support that he's he's like a cannon that can shoot people and he doesn't die. I mean, do you see him more similar to a Crystal Maiden in that sense, who nukes very hard but fairly weak defensively? No, uh, he's still good. like his Grave Keeper's cloak is still gonna be keeping him alive. But you you need to get to four to get that right. <laughs> what? What? This is okay. The thing about this thing, this patch, this uh, this change is that Visage past like fifteen twenty minutes, he's the same exact hero. Fair enough. Like it how Lifesler affects his early game. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the same. It, it same, doesn't do anything really. It's the same nerf as Lifesteal got before, right? Where they reduce the, or they made you level open wound for the range increase, stuff like that. But I'm just saying. The, this is just really good. Okay. For trilings. Fair enough. Um, the the thing I also see is that, um, during that chaotic team fight where you're taking a ton of damage and your magic resist is now very lowered, Visage is one of those heroes that could get a lot of kill streaks. Because of soul assumption, and now with the kill streak bounty being increased, I'm not sure whether that perhaps is a very very indirect nerf. But I don't know. That connection kind of popped up in my head. I'm not sure how much it actually really is connected. But it's all right. Yeah. Any case, warlock. There's no strike damage anymore with your chaotic offering golem. Why? I know. Remember, like. Well, I, I really love Acceptor Refresher, and your impact golem mm -hmm. just kills like half their HP, and then everybody like cleave strikes once, and you just win the game. But now you don't I have mean, it anymore. Like, isn't it just gonna get purged? Why would you buff all the stuff if it's gonna get purged anyway? The yeah. impact was pretty significant, I felt, and like, it's just kind of weird to remove it. Yeah. In my opinion, I, I felt like that was one of. But you know his big points, and sure, yeah, you're upgrading upheaval. It's longer cast range. The link, I think, got weaker. Is Warlock getting nerfed? Is this real life? I don't know. I I think the sleeper OP throughout the ages, every single patch, every single meta is upheaval. Upheaval was good like five years ago. Yes, it was like one of the best spells in the game. It like, is amazing. 700 to 1200 range. Level this skill up. Like this is an insane ability. I can't believe like no one levels it up. Some people even skip it. It's a ridiculous ability. Fatal like, Bond is also ridiculous. Please use it. Yeah, Fatal Bond is absolutely amazing. My question is, does this now change Warlock from a "Hey guys, I have my alt hero" to something mm -hmm. else? Is this now a "Hey, upheaval is really good now, like insanely good"? Upheaval's so broken. Is twelve hundred range enough to stand on one side of the Roshan pit, the 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 other side, the radiant side, to upheaval into the Roshan pit? Is that far enough? Is it? What's Caudal's range? Like 1600? 1600. Can you hook from the, from the Radiant side to into the Roshan Pit? No. No, okay. Damn. But it's it's still really good. Yeah. Someone pointed this out to me though. Um, someone says like, like in pubs, Warlock was one of the highest winning percentage heroes. So I guess like maybe just because he doesn't catch on to the competitive scene because of how awkward he is, he's still impacting all the players in Dota 2. So maybe this nerf is actually necessary. I, I guess so. Like, it, it was just, there was some inevitability when you just got Acceptor and then you know you're gonna get the Refresher. You just know you can't lose because of four golems. And sure, you'll die after dropping the four golem, but it just didn't matter. I beat mm -hmm. PLs, Kados before, I beat with CKs before. <laughs> like, they go with CK, I just pick Warlock and be like, fuck you guys. Uh, but now it doesn't happen anymore, I'm so sad. Just drop a rock in upheaval. It'll be great. Drop War a rock off you go from 1200 range. Do, I think if you dual lane, I think if you actually dual lane, Warlock can be a good support. Like, Are we going back like five years ago up, with, with people? supporting is, that Spectre? Yeah. Oh my gosh. No. This is this is the a way to run Warlock. We'll see. It, it'll happen, I think. Okay. I don't even know why Warlock didn't get picked already. but. I mean, Dignitas yeah. had that Warlock mid thing. I thought it was amazing, and then it didn't do it anymore. It was amazing. Yeah, oh my know. gosh. Could have won TI3. If they hit back, you won. I don't know. Could have. Yeah, alright. Base attack time nerf on Weaver. That's cool. Focus fire remains. Mm -hmm. I always thought it should have. That's cool. Right. Okay. So, one thing to, to ask you, Fluff, is whether you have time uh -huh. to take a maybe a three minute break after we talk about Witch Doctor. And then we yeah. will resume. Does that sound good? Resume? Because, I mean, there's items. Yeah. And items my p favorite portion of the patch. But it's been going long. I need to take a pee. 
And uh, I'm sure people out there need to take a pee too. Anyways, Witch Doctor. Yeah. I always thought Witch Doctor was a very pickable hero. Why no? He's pick? very pickable. Yeah. So. Well. His uh, voodoo restoration actually was pretty terrible. Yeah. For the mana cost, like it's not even wasn't even worth leveling up. Yeah. And. He was just kind of overshadowed by every other hero with these amazing abilities. That that um, I, I agree. But. Like, if there's anything every single player has noticed about Witch Doctor is that Death War does a lot of damage, especially with Axe. Mm -hmm. I think with this buff, you're going to see more Witch Doctor because it, Death War is so underrated. And um, a lot of teams actually have... A couple of teams have been picking Witch Doctor. I'm not going to say who, but... In scrims and stuff? Already before this. Yeah, and it's been pretty successful. Yeah, Witch Doctor also got... Uh a couple of buff in the previous patch. I think Maledict got a better buff. I think I saw a thread mm -hmm. on Reddit the other day asking where was this hero? Like the, the meta kind of left him. And I think after seeing yeah. that that thread, the the thing I I thought too was in in a more traditional kind of three v one scenario, which we're not going to see probably as much anymore. Is you want a carry right. that could actually benefit from levels quite a bit, which I'm not sure whether Witch Doctor is one of those heroes, or you want a hero that could yeah. gank mid. Or approach that off lane and just kill him. And, and Cass isn't really that's, that's isn't really any of that. Late game, sure your witch doctor or death ward goes through and hits enemy BKB units, but they could come to you and kill you in two shot or just stun you. It just feels like he takes too much setup. But you know the the fact that you said teams are trying that hero and and letting us know gave me a pleasant surprise. I thought he was just a relic of the past. It's this thing, or have you noticed? A couple teams, they pick Crystal Maiden and they Frostbite for levels. Yes. Which Witch Doctor is the kind of hero where he can go into the jungle and get decent farm. Yeah. And cast that's, for... That's kind of how people are starting to use him now. Okay. Like, Axe is not really something too far out of his reach. And it does a million damage. Okay. So, you think definitely think that Witch Doctor is going to be coming back. And I... One thing I think that we this this hero is not picked often is can you remember those Chinese trialing versus trialing situations? He used to be yes. king there because Cask was king. a guarantee hit on multiple targets. And if you see more contested dual lane versus dual lane or trialing versus trialing, I I think we Witch Doctor will come back. Yeah, if he shines in those situations. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Uh, we are gonna take a you wanna say five minute break. All right, sure. Three minute break, three minute break, just a couple minute break, and uh, we'll be back. BRB guys. After these messages. After these messages.
stream, eh? What? They can't see your hands and face in the stream. You do their webcam. Okay. Maybe I should have this. That's the troll? Alright, I'm back. I'm here. Alright, so uh, let's resume. Yeah, sure. Okay, so All right. items, animal couriers, HP increase, can't be sniped by uh, uh, freaking, what do you call it anymore, trains. <laughs> like, why should trains ever kill couriers though? We saw it during TI. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's like fail. <laughs> Room SP increased from 300 to 350. That's nice. That's. How, I, I don't want to say it's really important. I guess you get a bottle faster, right? I like it. Yeah. Well, it's. It's all because of the, the flying courier nerf. They have to compensate some way, right? I guess. So you don't upgrade a courier? Is that the compensation? No, you, you are unable to upgrade. Yeah, you're unable to upgrade. Minutes. Yeah. Which, uh. So, I'm, some strategies are being ruined. One of Event Eternal Envy's strategy requires like a level, oh gosh. like a minute two courier upgrade. But anyways, uh, movement speed bonus <laughs> reduced from arcane boots. That's nice. That's not the reason why we're getting it. But hey, why? Why do this to me? What's the point? Arcane boots so good. Didn't it get nerfed already? Yeah. Didn't the movement speed get nerfed last? No, the time? mana increase. The mana regain got nerfed. Okay. Yeah. Well, Arm Toggle no longer World Dota. That's pretty much what it says, right? I, I honestly thought it was a dumb mechanic. I, like sometimes, I agree. Sometimes, like I would just like, I would almost kill this guy, like, and for seven seconds he's living with a one HP. It's pretty dumb. It shouldn't happen. I think it's dumb because I get killed by catapult while toggling armaments. Well, yeah. Anyways, I mean, <laughs> flavor <of> souls. <laughs> BKB is uh, now more expensive. Cool. It should be great. I don't buy it. All right, <laughs> all right. This is something you buy. <laughs> Blink dagger. Uh, it's just for fudge. Just for fudge. Okay, cool stuff. Bloodstone gives the original component. That's great. Now prioritize bridge of travel uh, nearby structures within the first. Thinker. Thinker buff, maybe. Now prioritize. Slightly. I guess. For lazy. I I lazy actually people. hated that. You, do, have you ever used living armor and on the mini map and it targets buildings? I, I, we've we've like died so many times because Mike armored a tower exactly or a thief like, instead of a hero. Why why randomly it makes a thing easier to target certain things? Just if you click yeah. somewhere, just get there. I don't know. Well, I mean, like using the mini maps kind of the poor man's like lazy way of doing it. It's like the because there's so many intricacies, like I guess it it makes no sense, but it's kind of 
Okay. You should be looking at it, though. I guess so. All right, ghost costs uh, of a bottle, which we kind of briefly mentioned earlier. Getting to your first bottle, especially if you're maybe not getting pulled nowadays, mm -hmm. but you do have a little bit more gold intake. Does this matter at all? You think? It should come at the same time. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Okay. Clear your potion. No longer shareable. That's actually wait, that's a nerf. That's a nerf to Eternal Envy mid game bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, what do you think about making bottles? I, good. I thought it was like, pretty legit, but... Yeah, I mean... I'm an EE fan. Why... There was this time that we played versus Korok when he was on Quantic, and he had a 6 slotted Tiny, and he found a double damage of TC in like, the super late game. Mm -hmm. He crit him for 3,000. Did, and, like, did one of his why not just solo mid... Controlled? It, oh, oh, I see. I thought a, a mid gave him... lent him the battle. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's just like... It just showcases the fact that these runes are really impactful. I mean, t think about timing a, a DD rune or an Invis rune around the Roshan. Like, yeah, just being able to have that ability to control. Well, it's harder to do that now because you don't know what that Roshan is. What a troll! Well, I mean, you like you can say, "Hey, I have a DD rune. Let's go freaking Roshan right now." Because if they come, I have a DD rune. That's like, fair. Yeah. That's just how it works. Okay. So, thus getting even a, a bigger slow. That's great. I like that. Yeah. I I like the slow thing in general. It's like, what a good change. Yeah. What were you the one that says it just adds something new to the game? Or I think that was AUI. But yeah, what oh. what's actually your original stance on this? I guess against I think bounties and stuff. It's nice. I mean, it's all it's all I can say is it, it's it's amazing when you play support because <laughs> you have more of impact of the game. Bonus. It's great. Okay. It's just great. It's overall, it's like, it's almost necessary. I think. Okay. Yul Scepter cooldown buff, movement speed bonus buff. This is a huge buff. Well, I mean, it's been getting what five. I like it. It, it was originally twenty five, and then it's thirty. Now thirty five, and then forty. I just think that Ice Frog <laughs> wants to see more Yules around, but nobody's getting it. I feel like Yules is one of the most underrated item out there. It is pretty underrated, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but why make it over something else if you have that much money? Well, you thought. know, the original cool thing about Yules is that it dispelled a lot of stuff and it helped you dodge a lot yes. of stuff. And now apparently everything is dodgeable, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, if you're. It's like no one buys the item for movement speed unless you're like in a pub maxing movement speed <laughs> and you're just getting Django and Phase and stuff. All right. Like, I don't see very many competitive builds. Where Yules is a core item. I think Invoker is the only thing that really closely comes to mind, but Invoker is not exactly yeah. uh, a top tier pick. You see it randomly on a puck against certain silence based heroes, for example. Um, you know, intelligence people that don't want to get silenced. I think that's really the. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. Well, Navi picked Invoker versus twice today. Oh, is that why they lost two games? Yeah. No, he's actually. He, he owned. He, he Fountain killed me and TC. Predicting Sunstrike teleports. Dang, that's pretty sick. Something. He was so good at it. Yeah. I gotta watch those replays. All right, I uh, MS. I don't. I don't think the slow is why I okay. is good or bad. I guess. I do. I do. The, the slow goes through BKB. I think the zero, what? Or, this item, like, it's so underrated. If you're a range hero versus a melee carry, I think you should build Scotty. Scotty okay. owns melee carry so hard. Like. I think adding more slow, that's perfect. Okay. Like, I mean, the item's already underrated because it costs so much. And, but like, just in my opinion, having the Scotty on a range over some melee carries cripples them. I just feel that a lot of times there are just better items you could buy. And most of it, it re it's like yeah. a hex. So it's like only Morphling. And maybe Medusa. Yeah, like. This might be Imba Medusa. It's just like one of those one or two item or one or two heroes would use, and I I just don't really see a point to it. I guess. Usually, Potom as well. Yeah, Potom actually would be good. Uh, although Potom, I don't think it's a bad hex carrier either. But I guess that's uh, another debate. Uh, flying courier. It, does a lot of damage. it it does it does yeah. Yeah. Flying couriers can be upgraded uh, till three minutes. So supports rejoice. Wow. Can't upgrade because I need to spend gold. <laughs> I guess I'm getting boots now. I'm getting boots. Like, I mean, 
obviously, first of all, this okay. impacts the bottle crow, right? Yeah, of course. How that's, much? That's a big thing. How much does it affect your carry getting a first blood and one to figure out that Midas recipe? Does it affect it? Just like this is affects just eternal envy rushing Midas. Yeah, he gets this minus three minutes and thirty. Because something. he doesn't buy items and just rushes it straight up, and it's like. This is actually gonna hurt him, which is funny, because nobody does that. You know, like, like Loda. Ice Rock literally patches out everything that Envy does. So yeah. remember, Envy used to do this upgrade courier at minute zero and use it to block camps. Mm -hmm. Remember that? That got patched out. Dreamhack Venomancer on the Dire Ancients got some like next level abuse of the jungle, if you even want to call it that. That got patched out. Right. And speaking uh, of abuse, yes, Sam's abusive about. Courier and TC, you don't know. You don't know how many times, like it's like one minute in the game, and Sam's like, "Can you upgrade the courier, Mike? Upgrade the courier. Like, is it upgraded? Like, it's just like ridiculous. I mean, it's not even. If you got passive gold, it's not even possible. Dude, so now oh, yes. Say, hey, shut up. Just shut up. Hey, I can't even upgrade it. So I'm gonna buy some boots, and you can just do whatever the hell you want. And I'm not even gonna pull you either. Oh, I love it. You, you love this fat just because of this, right? This is the best patch for supports ever. I agree, and we haven't even got to the best part yet. Yeah. Yeah, alright, let's keep going on then. Go costs uh, for gem increase, that's, you know, fine. Uh, Necro no longer killable, but Hannah Midas makes sense. Healing Staff can be pulled, a little bit more expensive. That's fine. Sure. Dominate Creeps no longer control Necro books, that makes sense. Hyperstone, Sweet. great. What about the Soul Cost? Lincoln Sphere, oh my god, what is what is this? So apparently understand. somebody told me it stacks. So you, what? You, no, really? I don't believe that person, and if it does stack, I'll be the first person to lobby the Ice Rock that it should not be stacked. Can you imagine there's five Lincoln Sphere buff on the enemy Weaver? What? I thought it was just like you transfer the ability to negate a spell to someone else, and it cooldowns for both of you. It doesn't negate... A spell, right? It's not like a Photic show where or, it, or it. I mean, whatever, whatever Lincoln Sphere would, like the spell, or whatever. Right. My question is, can you have two Lincoln Sphere on your your side, and both transfer kind of it to somebody at the same time, and block two spell at once? There's like no details about the cooldown. There's <laughs> there are no numbers here except for the cast range. I imagine it it's a twenty those, second thing, right? Because yeah. the original is twenty second. Chat says it doesn't stack. Yeah, I, I, I just Some don't think it... Some people say it stacks. It's like 50-50 in my chat. Like, nobody knows what they're talking about. Does anybody know? No stack, no stack. It will stack. Yeah, nobody knows either. Oh, okay. So someone, someone said, you can't transfer both at the same time, but um, you, can trans you can put a second one on them if the first one like blows up. So like, if you're really wait, you could attentive, I guess you could put a second one on them. I guess the cooldown. Well, I mean, if if your first one expires or it gets procked, uh -huh. then you can put up another one immediately. Apparently, it's a 17 second cooldown. Um, apparently, is what I'm. What? <laughs> what? 17 second cooldown. Apparently, it would be good even on the cooldown that it has right now, which is 20. So this is insane. So it's like okay, so. Nowadays, we see people getting. Lincoln. This is the key to Aghanim's Enigma. Is is that it? You just skip to BKB. <laughs> you skip the Blink Dagger. You just walk in. <laughs> All right, let's be real here. So, who who actually gets this? And, and uh, here's another question: Who actually gets this and not use it for himself? I, really, yeah. Like the I mean, big like, Lincoln buyer nowadays are either like, Dusa and Weaver. Dusa, Weaver, Morphling, and Morphling, like, and they all need it. Right, there's there's no logical reason of, hey, I want to spend 5k gold on an item that, hey, I'm just going to give the buff to somebody else. That just makes no sense. So unless yes. you're, you're a support that has just too much gold to, to know what you're doing with it, which never happens, Right. what's the point? It So it, it might just not be OP. It might just be like another, like skill cap, another thing to be skilled about as a carry player, like sacrificing your own defensive capability for a teammate. It's like, hey, I know my CM is slow, and she's gonna eat a magic missile that's flying in. Let me just give her a Lincoln puff. 
Unless unless you do abuses like, I don't know, putting it on your bat rider and letting him jump in or something. So like you can't even swap with that blink backer. How's that abuse? I feel like that's hey, that's legit. Not abuse. Yeah. It's smart. I mean it's smart. Yeah, I, I you know but what other than that I guess. I think you hit it, use it you hit the nail on the head. I I think that's a fine application. You're weaver giving the bat rider a link and buff and hey, let it go. Aganim's enigma. Yeah, give <laughs> Aganim's name. I, I'm thinking things like Witch Doctor, for example, like chanting his death. Eternal War. Envy. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So the Storm safe lane, Quap goes Lincoln Sphere and gives it to Storm because he doesn't even buy Lincoln's. Right. Yeah. He goes Orchid and, and Bloodstone. Isn't that what he's just yeah? get anyways? He doesn't get Bloodstone. No, he doesn't. He doesn't go Lincoln. Or he doesn't go Lincoln. He goes Bloodstone every. Yeah, yeah. He goes uh, Orchid's Lincoln's. He doesn't go or Orchid Bloodstone. He he doesn't get Lincoln's at all. So. And then Quap gives him Lincoln's. <laughs> and Lincoln's is good on Storm. Alright, all right. I think we, we, we're done with this one. Maelstrom, bigger AoE, <laughs> more more uh, more balance. Not more balances, just just hits like more that. stuff. Good stuff. Um, I feel like Maelstrom has kind of forgot, has become forgotten. Uh, the other damage item are just way more efficient. Like, MKB is just MKB, mm -hmm. it's always good. Butterfly is butterfly. Manta is gone for the defensive purpose. Crits are for the deeps and Maelstrom is who does who even gets a Maelstrom? Why do you even get Maelstrom? I don't know. Nobody loves Maelstrom. Anymore. I don't know either. You know um, I, I thought Mjolnir was the yeah. Radiance counter in the past. You get five Mjolnir really? and, and the Radiance just dies. Does it block off the Yeah, it does. The burn? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Could be now. I don't know. This is a I like this change. This is really actually gonna do a lot of damage in a team fight if it actually works. So, w w what is this? The Maelstrom? The Mjolnir. Look at this. I just skipped ahead because I mean, what? Oh, uh, sorry. Maelstrom. Mjolnir is charge hit counter increase from three to f oh AOE and then radius and attack increase. Okay. Isn't that cool? I guess so. Actually, gonna hit things. I mean, I, I, what will you get it against? Be just because, just, be a dick. You'll just get it, okay. <laughs> like, TC buys Mjolnir on Razor sometimes, because I asked him why, he said it's, it's lightning. You just need more that lightning. Was explanation. Yeah. He'll go in the competitive game, too. Like, that's his, that's his real reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Because of lightning. All right. Cool, though. I think, let's let's actually talk about something that's really important. Let's talk about Observer Wards. Okay, so first of all, the duration increased by a minute. Does that... I think that matters, especially if we're talking about the old six minute nighttime. Just getting the first minute into nighttime is a big deal. Uh, but obviously now the nighttime is a four minute cycle. Does that matter? I have an ad I hear going on somewhere. Holy shit, what's going on here? Are you? What the fuck? Okay. Switch to Geico? Hold on one second. Switch to Geico? What? Is that my Twitch? I'll wait for you to finish that, I guess. Alright, I don't hear anymore. Alright, anyways. So, does the extra minute actually matter? On the Observer War? Yes. Yeah? Why yes, does it, it matter? Does. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a war that lasts longer. Why, but why wouldn't it matter? I mean, both team gets it. So both team has better yes. wards. So does that like tell me the difference well, between wards lasting one minute or wards lasting ten minutes, and why does one extra minute from six to seven actually matter? I, I, it's like one extra minute. It matters. It's huge. I think it's really big. It's like, first of all, when when you get a successful ward that the enemy team doesn't scout, mm -hmm. like sometime in the mid to late game, these wards are huge, and you don't necessarily have the ability to refresh them at any point. Like, just because you got it the first time doesn't mean you can just walk in there again and do it again. Like, it just makes the wars way more valuable. And, like, when I can when I can sneak a nice ward in the, in the jungle, deep in the jungle where I, I can see their carry farming in his pattern and all that, mm -hmm. it'll make a big difference for his, his safety and um, it'll just put more importance on our players and to counter their wards and we get rewarded for doing so. We get rewarded for good play, and you get rewarded f for you know placing. A you get rewarded for good play. Okay. Both, in both situations, yeah. 
So it doesn't say here, but I imagine that the cooldown timer of the observed world should adjust to this. Or do you think it's just actually you just get a so. free minute? I don't think so. Okay. I think you get a free minute. Worth getting a buff. What is this uh, next level thing? Although the uh, very next line is, uh, I guess, Killing Observer right now grants a 50 bounty go. You know, that's something I actually appreciated from League of Legends quite yeah. a bit. And never... I felt like it was missing from Dota. Now now my CM is going to get a gem, and it's an investment. And we're going to sweep across the map. I, honestly, I think it, it matters on heroes like, for example, a Beastmaster. Like, you make an early game gem purchase, and now there's more incentive to actually kill these wards. And... Um, especially yeah. with the last patch change, we're killing, uh, especially, what you only start out with one set of Observe Ward. If there's some way yeah. you de-ward early, that's a pretty big game. You get a quicker boots if you find those wards. And now you can even mm -hmm. say, hey, Envy, you get the last set on these wards. You get a 50 go extra go. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's going to, like, say, hey, whoa, 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 pilot, whoa, 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 no, 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 let me get that. And he's going to, like, storm, storm ulti all the way over there, but, like... <laughs> I don't care about TC and say I'm taking that ward. No, I'm talking about like, you know how sometimes huh? early game you find a random ward they dropped on the enemy? Like, they go in the jungle, they drop a yeah. ward, and they try to block a camp. You de-ward them. And I, would I you like give that. it to your carry then? Or, you know, like, I'm taking this one for Hell myself. No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh, man. The diligence yeah, of four fluff out of here. Okay, fair enough. No, 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 no. That's how you're supposed to play. Like, you need to fight for everything, every end advantage every creep you can get. Do you feel like it's 1v9 it's like, every game? What? What? 1v9? Yeah. You mean like my teammates? Yeah. Well, I have another support player on my team. Okay, so 2v8. You have another support on your team, but you make him get all the wards. Don't lie yeah. to us. We know we know what's happening. I do. <laughs> I mean, that's like when we were trying out Peter, I was like, well, I'm a really greedy support player, and I'm Probably not gonna help you. Is that okay? And he said yes. Damn. So he, I mean, he signed the contract <laughs> called IX Mike eighty eight. Fair enough. All right. Okay. So I'm actually gonna be pretty happy to D war from now on. Like it's you know it, it used to always so satisfying. I know it used to oh be like god. a drag. It's like oh my god, they just warded here. Oh my god, I only have one fifty gold. I I can't D war yet. I gotta wait, and now it's like, holy shit, I'm about to earn some 50 gold for myself. It's, that's amazing. It's amazing. You, 50 gold is so big. For support? Yeah! That's half of us. Oh my god. You, you know the best part in, in terms of warding and dewarding in pups? They war on the exact same spot after you dewarded. <laughs> yeah, you put... <laughs> Yo, that's 100 gold right there, man. That's true. That's true. Alright. Is this only observers, right? Yeah. Not, not sentries? I, I don't know okay. why you don't get go for Give me 25, you know? I'll, I'll take a bow. All right, phase boots getting a speed nerf, which the, it, it's only five here, but it's actually a lot more because when you're phasing, you are getting a percentage of that yeah. five, so uh, it hurts quite a bit. Um, the pipe AOE increase. That it should should always be like this. Yeah. It. it I've, how many times have you seen people group up for pipe, and then like one of their players doesn't get it, and they're <laughs> all clumping on each other? It doesn't make any and sense. And then they get RP right there. No, I, I think yeah. this matters quite a bit during the team fight where sometimes you just have to pipe, pop the pipe because you see an AoE coming in and you just need to block it and Receptive. yeah, half the team doesn't get it. And now they all do. You could like pipe for someone in your periphery. There you go. Like way far away. It's one person. And you still get the rest of your team. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, power threats. What's with all these boots getting slower? I mean, I guess Night Saga is just going to rape everyone. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. Hey. Stash. Yule Scepter getting buff, so you could get Yules and Yule him up and run. Right? Like, okay, this is, I didn't even think about this, but, like, Slark is just gonna have all these bonuses from nighttime, and then he can just run through and see you have no wards, yep. and you can't run away from him. Your oh shit, Slark dewarding your wards, guys, he's getting 50 extra gold too. Oh my god, he's gonna get so rich! Holy shit, guys. This is. This is the nighttime patch. <laughs> No, this is the dodgeable patch, the support patch, except there's Slark and Night Stalker. And then, uh, yeah. Anyways, Radiance oh. burn damage, bigger AoE, I guess. Mm -hmm. it, he's, Great. I think it's already ex exceptionally powerful, but now it's even better. Uh, okay, Refresher. I guess, like, Perseverance is a stat now. Yes. It gives... Or actually, no, 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 my bad. I thought it was 
plus ten attack. It's attack speed. Just kidding. Yeah, it's the so from the quarter staff part of the whole I thing. I was thinking of the bloodstone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so rod of Atos. Yeah, sure. Keep keep buffing it. Good luck with that one. Mm -hmm. Still an ass item. It's actually gonna be good on disruptor, I think. Disruptor. You don't want a four staff. What the heck? I think just four staff is just the go to. Well. It's a mind game, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Drop it on them and then like, what the hell? Is he gonna ulti me? Maybe maybe he pop BKB. And then what if they don't? You just ulti them. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> I guess so. That's okay. Alright, and four percent. Thank you. Thank you for giving us that. SMY getting four percent increase. Sensual duration increase from three to four, no longer gift What? You know what this means? This is like okay, so you know how when you're dewarding a cliff and you put it down and you can see like around it? Okay. It's only gonna last twelve seconds. You still get the true side if you have vision, but you don't get that, oh. that little vision. So yeah. you get you get so free dewards. Right. Well no 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 no. This is already built in. It's actually worse. But on the on the flip side, if your enemy is like really unlucky and you you put awards on cliffs and they miss for twelve seconds. Ah. Uh. Then they're screwed, and you can kill them. Oh, so this is like when you have sentry on the ground, and somebody randomly walks over it, you don't get that vision. Yeah. Ah, oh, I Guess see. That's a smoke. That's a smoke uh, buff as well. That is a smoke buff. People actually are so next level about that. They drop a sentry on the mid lane to protect their tankers, for example, and supports literally mm -hmm. just watch that area, right? Yeah. So you can't protect against sentry anymore or smoke anymore. That's. I mean, a lot of. A lot a lot of times people put sentries accompanied with OBS if they're anticipating any stealth movement. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. But now it, it four minutes. This is this is the death of Nyx or something. With that, where you can't click on the hero, and then now he can't run around because <laughs> the wards last seven minutes and the sentries last four. How are you gonna move around? Yeah. Yeah, I never even thought of it like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Shadow Amulet Fate Time, that's cool story, bro. Shadow Walk cooldown increase. This is like such a nerf. Is Why is uh, Shadow Blade oh getting hit all over the place? This is Furion. This is all Furion. I guess so. This is, Furion's the reason why Shadow Blade's getting nerfed. And it's an appropriate nerf because what did they nerf about him? He gives more XP and bounty. Okay. Yeah. They need to nerf him some way, and this is one of his core items. I think you nerf his TP. Unless. Bro. I mean, it should be the TP, but yeah. I, I think I think the fact that he still could go, for example, Midas Mech four staff into a hex, like he, sure the most popular yeah. build is a Shadow Blade into a hex, and that's fine. But he he is versatile enough to go up for other things, that he is not tied down yes. by a Shadow Blade. So I don't know. He's gonna be still picked and still good, regardless of this. So this is just gonna hurt a lot of those heroes that re rely on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe like Kunkka? Yeah. What's he, like, Kunkka is just gonna have BKB as his only escape. And, um, what? Like, who else uses Lothars? Shadow Fiend, perhaps? Although they're kind of moving maybe? away from it. Yeah, the cool thing about the Shadow Blade is, you know, like, walking into a fight, you break out in Viz, you get a hit in, you drop a couple of spells, and the team fight lasts fairly long, and you know you could walk away at least with, with Shadow Walk. But now you you can't. You're you're going in there and you're fighting till you're dying or you're winning the fight, which is you know good mm -hmm. stuff. Smoke of the seed. I didn't understand this one. I read I read it. Smoke units. Are, I didn't either. What is this? Mean? Are now hidden until buff is removed, rather than being hidden only from mini map and partially from world. Does that mean you can't even see it with Sentry Wars now? I mean. Maybe? <laughs> That's what I thought at first, but I really don't understand the wording. Rather than being hidden from mini map. What does partially from the world mean? Cause that, does that just mean like when there's a sentry you can like kind of see it? You could see them if you looked at it? So does that mean you can't so even see them anymore? Maybe the chat knows. How huge? Is something too ambiguous. People are saying correct, but I'm saying all of these random stuff. Only tower reviews now. Yeah. Apparently that's what people are saying. You're like asking a multiple choice question and they're saying Correct. yes. Correct, yes. It means that when you hover over your map over to the sentry location, you still can't see them. So they, they just... So it's a true smoke. Does that mean they're just invis? Yeah, they're just invis. You can't see Whoa. them. 
That is pretty cool. I like that. So when they're smoking into the Roshan, you just you'll just get surprised every time. Right? Can you protect your mid from junglers now? Because if you don't just camp here there? Like you know how people put observer in a sentry there? Yeah. Just kinda yeah. scout the movement? Yeah. You, Can they just stand on that and mock you like ha 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 ha. You can't even see me and then like the enemy thinks he's safe. And yeah, right. Just so him. so what's gonna happen is he's gonna kill you and he's gonna drop a sentry and earn fifty gold from your observer too. And then kill your your oh, your sentry. That's like the ultimate slap on the face. This is a great change, I think, because like I mean, smoke is a long cooldown. I mean, of course, people use it all the time, but this is gonna add a whole new element. Of, this like, is what surprise. smoke was meant to be, right? You just want a gank. Right. This is true. The the good the good this thing. Smoke in a spear swarm. The good thing I liked about the old sentry being able to see it is it's a very skill testing thing. It reminded me of like. Right. Starcraft Brood War professional players were they saw the enemy Protoss probe invis on the map. Like how the fuck do you see that? Like this is something like hey I have a sentry mm -hmm. and I see the team walking by. Like I, I like that skill testing part of Dota. And I could still kinda see why smoke deserved to be the smoke that we have now, I guess. It just right. I don't know. I, always, I, I would be fine either way. I, I feel sad when the skill testing part is, is removed, but all right, Tango can be targeted on an allied hero to carry a one charged non-stacking Tango item. Would you pull one Tango for 125 gold? Literally one Tango. Wait. Have you read the last line? I thought it only takes one away one charge. Does it take away the whole Tango? No, they only get one charge of the whole thing. So what's the problem? Are you gonna spend 125 gold to literally have given one tango? It has a... Wait a minute, so is that is that like the pooling method? Yeah, it's the one usage tango, that's is it. it. La it says the item has a 60 second cooldown. Or does that mean just tango charging, or does that mean that... I think that means that the in item in the inventory has a 60 second cooldown. Mm. Like they wouldn't go so far to nerf the pooling if you could just do this too, right? they would just go all out. No, 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 no. Do you understand? Like, okay, right now Tango gives you four charges, right? Yes. Let's say I'm pulling you a Tango. The one I pull you only has one charge. You can't pull me anymore, though. You mean? Wait, I'm so confused right now. Like you, you can cast an ability on your teammate, and it gives them a Tango that lasts sixty seconds, just one charge from yours, right? All right, this is where we gotta go to chat. People say correct. I have no idea. Okay, apparently it's I'm, like I'm you wrong. You have four and charges. You click on me. Okay. You have three now. I get one. It lasts sixty seconds. Oh, if you want to pull me, it's not gonna work. I see. So I give you one of my four tangles. Yeah. Dude, 125 gold for one tangle? <laughs> no way. I, that's what I read. Look. This would be like those times when everyone just see like two flash. I I was in AP two English, cells. guys. I was in AP English. Um, so I guess now the pooling takes a lot more spot. It, it's still very pullable thing, right? It just it just means you don't pull mid anymore, which is the big thing. But you definitely could pull your it's carry. It's like that. In yeah, fact, that, wouldn't everybody? No one, no one cared about that. I mean. No one cares, because it doesn't create a matchup disadvantage in laning. What about this? Your solos. bounty hunter off lane goes boots, buys his own tangos, and everybody out pulls him one set of tango. Yeah, but he's it's going to expire in 60 seconds. Oh, shit. I see. Never mind. I, I need to read fine <laughs> like, print. I need to actually just read, spawn, right? Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to value tango, you're going to run mid tank the tower so you can use your 60 second <laughs> no, tango? No, so I, I guess this is just passing a tango to your, your anti-mage in lane yeah. when you see him. Okay. Yeah, it's meant for the laning phase. Okay. Like all the other... My, t my chat's like face palming right now. Are you? Don't worry, I'm face palming right now too. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, new tranko boots. Plus 85... 85 like this, MS for armor, 10 HP regen, and it works like a heart. Right? I like this. It doesn't even like. It doesn't even 
go to like the broken boots aren't even bad. It's actually good movement speed. Yeah, the broken boots is like faster than anything else still. Yeah. Cannot be disassembled I though. Like Cannot this. be disassembled. You're you're <laughs> stuck with those boots. I mean how many how many times have you seen like Joe MTI? This is Luna just keeps the trinket boots all the time. Well that And everyone begs the question, can't you just disassemble it? Well, <laughs> now you can't flame me. Oh uh, well here's the thing though. Okay, let's actually the ask the question what, who would anybody get this on? Support skin? It's plus eighty five MS. Yeah. Support. Supports. Crystal Maidens, your Crystal keeper support. of lights. It's just like it's just like, you know you don't carry players. I know you get a lot of pool. I know you like to utilize items that aren't really meant for you. Mm -hmm. No, no more. <laughs> Down the hammer. Okay, why so, why won't carries be getting this? It's ten HP regen is good at least neutraling item, right? If they invest into it, there's no going back. They're still gonna get it, but it's like it's eight hundred gold. It's not that much of a oh, actually like a thousand gold. Yeah, a thousand gold. A lot of times people don't want to to actually you know use that money when it, they're so close to another item. That's true. Like no one, no one's like, oh, I'm gonna sell my tranquil boots for power treads <laughs> when they're like close to a blink dagger or something. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It, it will be just a legitimate boot upgrade now. It's either your phase or your triangles or your treads, and you're not going back, and that's fine. And you'll replace that's it what with it should the, be. Yeah, it, that's why it should be. I, I, it's fine. I'm just saying, in what scenarios you, you'll edge out the phase? In what scenario you'll edge out the uh, arcane, for example? Like, I guess, you know, would you get this on the anti mage if I want to throw out a specific hero? Or do you just think that Battle Fury is just that much, or uh, Treads is just that much better because Battle Fury gives you regen, anyways? Just get Vlads and stop trying to be a support. <laughs> support anti mage? Like, your Vlads gives me armor. <laughs> it's, like, instead of just giving yourself you armor? You only care for yourself. Man. I have like mech and urn for you. Do you really need this boot that restores HP? Oh my god. Fluff, I, I really can't tell whether this is your... This is a patch lock analysis or if this is an outlet to tell Boba and TC why they suck. This is like... This is both. Yeah, this is both. Okay. I mean, come on. Support's taken so much abuse, like every patch, no joke. Like, these heroes have retarded abilities, like just the most outrageous things you can think of. And then what? See them? Like your aura got increased a little bit. Sure, that's good. But what about what about other stuff? Like, what about your freaking 280 move speed? Like, what about not being able to buy boots because you have to upgrade cores for your greedy cores? What about all that? Well, now why you don't upgrade for three the minutes? You get gold when you kill wards. And and you know what? Wait, you have way too. Really, that's 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 it. You got it covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Urn of Shadows. Uh, so, heal. That's great. Actually, it's pretty good on more offensive uh usage. Like, for example, Axe. Yeah. I see him chasing for a long time. All right, Vanguard. Is this a thing? Any like the damage block's pretty insane now. Wait, wait, wait. Question about Trinkle Boots. Okay. Can anyone, if you're jungling Axe, are the creeps gonna disable it the same way that it did? Previously, or is it just gonna persist, like with a threshold? Does it mention anything about threshold in this? It does not. Although I don't think this is a complete patch log, so. Okay. Um. That's a good question. Oh wait. Well, I mean it break. Okay, everyone's just tripping out now. Cause apparently, it breaks when you attack. So, peace carries, I guess. Restores when you haven't attacked. You know, I should just actually read. <laughs> Everybody is tripping out. Reading's, reading's pretty good when you're doing a patch analysis. Reading is so hard. Okay, so so yeah, now it, it makes... Wait. Hmm. If you There's haven't like no attacked you or it. been attacked... So you can't get it for neutraling anymore. Mm-mm. You just get it from moving around, and if it breaks, it's oh, just like a, it's a normal upgraded boots. So new meta of Axe is just to stand there and let the RNG of the point three, new buff to a spin do the work. And then you dunk people, because that's not attacking either. Yeah. You just dunk people. Yeah, you, you just never attack. You get plus you just ten. Just run around and cast spells. 
<laughs> the Casarex. <laughs> That's actually not bad. I like it. I like it. All right. All right. Done. Vanguard is the last one. Wait, why did you skip over Urn? I I, I talked about That's Urn huge. being OP. Yeah. All for, right. It's for, OP. for girls like Axe. Okay. Yeah. It's it's a lot better now. That's good on everyone. Yeah. Especially okay. Axe. Vanguard. Though. Vanguard. Um, I always thought that Vanguard is very underappreciated. But is it like one of those situations like Yule Scepter and Rod of Atos? Like the items are clearly good, but you just get drums instead. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Mm. I mean, I don't think the item's great on Darks here, but everyone gets mech anyway. And everyone, everyone's gonna pull out the math. So mech is better I can't than really Vanguard. Say cool Vanguard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like who's who's making Vanguard except for like Bristleback or something? I remember the days of the Kunkka Vanguard, and everybody got it. Yes. Yeah, we can go back to those days, man. I like it. Yeah. Nah, no one's gonna do it. <laughs> All right, Veil of Discord. Use no talisman. Magic reduce the stuff. Veil is already really good, and it's not one of those cases where it's there's insanely good. Yeah, why people no get? I only see Sand Kings getting it now. Can you just like imagine item? natural order plus yeah. Veil? Like, holy shit. <laughs> Versus Visage. <laughs> Versus a Visage. <laughs> it's a great item. It's great. Nobody it's, get. It doesn't shoot lightning and spawn volcanoes though. <laughs> if they if they change the animation to spawn a volcano and set this like purple whatever thing that it does. Or it's like a golden yeah. yellow. They just alright. Perfect synergy with disruptor. <laughs> volcanoes, lightning. Alright. That's generally when we get to this uh point of the patch, we know we're pretty much done. Um. Okay, I thought I was gonna take questions, but I'm actually just physically done. Do you have any objections? Been up forever, huh? I've been casting since. When, when did you start casting? Eight a.m. Oh my gosh! And you just straight up went into this and got a yeah. three-minute pee break. I, <laughs> I have ace. You guys are flaming Lumi for not reading, but you need it. You need to understand. I have Ace Even. in uh, in four hours. You guys are flaming Lumi Holy shit. for not reading. He's, he's working tirelessly for your amusement. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll take questions for like five minutes and, and see how it goes. And feel free, if there's any interesting questions that on your chat, let me know. All right. Did you hear my manager? Someone's asking that just coming up. No? What happened? Nothing happened. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm gonna go early, but if people want to go to Fluff Stream, you know, feel free and stuff. So, in any case, I'm probably just like answer questions for like ten minutes and then turn it off. Okay. A lot of people. Same thing. Uh. What grade did you get in AP English? I got a B. So fuck y'all. <laughs> You're just like. You're just cool. getting baited into this. No, man. This is good. Alright. Um, anyways. There's there's no question. And I think you just took the breath away with this. What's this B? Extraordinary patch analysis. Extraordinary? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, could say it was the best one so far. I agree. The newest one's always the best All right, one. There we go. Done. <laughs> well, there's no <laughs> favorite color. What's your favorite color, Fluff? Red. Red? Is that red the aggressive, is, uh, angry color? Yeah, red is like red is fire. Fire is like ambition, oh, leadership. Oh, that's right. I, I saw that. Aggression, vlog. like passion, love, it's everything. It's like the best, the All best right. color and the best. Let's symbol be real. Thing. Did you did you get Pokemon Red when you chose? I did. Oh damn! What a player. But I mean, it's also my favorite color. Okay, fair enough. I got blue. We're yeah. we're, we're antithesis. Is... See, you see those AP English words, antithesis. I can't even pronounce it. Get the get the pronounce it correctly though. Antis antis antithesis. Is that right? Antithesis. Holy yeah. shit! English is so hard. <laughs> Can you say owl? Owl. All right. Okay. Just what kidding. else? What else are you questioning I'm me? I'm trying to do that. 
I just can't say anything. I feel like hour. Hour? Yeah, my dad says hour instead of owl because he can't pronounce the, the sound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Fluff, do you think Tranquil is OP right now? I assuming the new Tranquil. I, I probably. Like, the thing for me is, like, if I can get Arcane Boots quick, I'll always get those. Unless I need the MS, like, Phase Boots for CM. And if I'm behind, and just for some reason I have enough money to buy Tranquils and I just have normal boots, I just buy them. Like, it's going to be one of those afterthoughts for me. I don't know if I would rush it over the other items. But we'll have to see how impactful that movement speed bonus is, and it's quite big, right? What is that compared to bots? Bots is 80. So this is more than bots, right? It's more than bots. 85? 85. So that's, that's actually... That actually piques my interest. Actually, but what... I'm gonna try. You know how Bone 7 Batrider gets spots for that? Like, yeah, gonna, let's say if well, you're Bone you 7, you'll just... you Well... Like, you, you use it for farming and stuff, right? Bots is 100, apparently. But, okay, I'm, a, I'm about, a caster, this guys. Is the, reason why bat riders the reason why Batrider is OP is because... Well, outside of his abilities, is because he scales tremendously with every pickup. Like when he gets Blink Dagger, he's another hero. When he gets Force Staff, he's an Imba hero. When he gets Bots, he's a, just a totally different hero, right? Mm -hmm. Like every single stage of his item progression makes him extremely better than the you know the previous minutes where he didn't have it. What? And Tranquil Boots is like not a Bots at all. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what about since we're on the question of bat rider? You know how some bat riders like to stop for tranquils during before the the blink upgrade. How's it how's it gonna be looking like now? Do you just get a bottle instead? Or wait, I zoned out. Jungle bat rider. Sometimes the bat goes straight yeah, to. I get bottle. Okay, fair enough. Someone asked why bots are so good on bat. It should be obvious to you. Like, it's basically global ganks. The initiation range, the movement speed, some balance with his ulti. He just farms a lot it's faster. Very that too. That's that's the so everything about it. Is great, seven. Bro. Yeah. Will Invoker transition into a Wex focus build? I don't think so. No. Yeah, you just need more damage. Like, like, what, EMP is going to be the reason why he's back? No. Lumi, Xor please say Almond. Almond. Which one Didn't is it? Didn't you say it like when you answered the question and then answered it differently when you pronounced it? Well, I think the first time I said it wrong. Is it Almond? Yes, yeah, Almond. I think I said Almond. Well, he's asking you how you pronounce it. So you answered it while you <laughs> answer, or you're reading his question. Oh man, almond. <laughs> this is some three two two thing. You're just changing it up, like you're cheating the system. I am the system, man. Don't even trip. What is the biggest change in the patch that wow. will influence pub games? Slark. That's like Breaking Bad. I am danger. <laughs> I haven't Breaking watched Breaking Bad yet. I need to watch it. Um, what what do you think is the biggest thing of this patch that changes pubs? Uh, fluff. Is a Slark? That changes pub? Yeah. You're gonna like a die seeker? to Night Stalker and Slark the same way you died to Spirit Breaker, except there's gonna be two heroes that kill you instead of one. <laughs> Alright. Alright, uh, what about competitive? Just, again, you haven't tested any of these things, just based on patch lock reading. It doesn't even have to be a hero. What, what What's one of like the thing, one of, one of the lines that you thought was pretty cool? Mm hmm. Just in general, I think the lane distribution, the strategy involved in laning, the counters, the the mind games. So this is the creep wave amplified. meeting closer to the off lane tower, the pool camp being a level, uh, being the lower small camp, um, the EXP being shared. All of these combines into perhaps more different lanes variations. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the teams are going to play games with each other. Yeah. Lanes are just going to be, you don't, you don't even know. 
until it pans out. Maybe. Talk but about there's just there's just so much room. Uh -huh. Talk about Night Stalker and darkness changes, and if he could be a viable support now. I don't know why you want to play him support. He just walks around and kill people as a solo mid, and I think he should be like that. Should be a support. Should be a support. Should be a solo, solo. mid. Man, you tired too. A solo. Yeah. For I'm those, just, you're like transferring to English to me, like the same way you do to LD. What? My English is perfect. English. I don't know. No, How did he saw me? That's the title of my stream. <laughs> <laughs> Ching Chinglish is trying. Chinglish is what I do with my mom when I speak to her because there are some words I can't say in Chinese anymore, and I'd be like, you know, it's like Jin Tian Wo cast Dota La. That's Chinglish. But it can work the same way because it's a fifty-fifty. I guess so. Holy shit, I got a cast in three and a half hour. What game is it? I don't even know. Is it like, is, it's one of those, is oh. it a HyperX game or? I know now. Ace? Okay, I'm casting Ace in three hour and 40 minutes. And that's gonna be Rattlesnake versus Tong Fu. Okay, and then in six like hours and 40 minutes. Oh my god. I'm casting DK versus LGD International. And then in 11 hours, I'm casting EG versus Navi. Wow. Wow. So, when do you actually sleep? Good question. When do I actually sleep? Do you drink coffee? I need to sleep right now, because I, I, I can't... I mean, from the patch log analysis that, you know, we did, you would notice that I would need sleep. I mean, I feel like that's just an excuse. Why is it an excuse? <laughs> Did you hear my manager? She's you, you, she was yeah. asleep six and a half hours ago. I supposed to sleep be sleeping six and a half hours ago. But he did this. So. I did it all for this guy for, for, for the love of Dota guys. For you guys. For the patch lock analysis. This is a you, you I mean if you, honestly, I'll be honest with you. If you don't like wrap this up on your end, I could probably like keep dragging you along for like another three hours. I'm actually thinking about just YOLO it to the ace cast and then sleep afterwards. Yeah, sleep does YOLO ever pay off? Ever? Like how many times do you know you stay up for school? You're like, oh, I'm just gonna YOLO it. And then the next day you're just so tired and you're like, why the hell did I do that? YOLO in real life never pays off. YOLO and Dota pays off it's all the time. Yeah, there was this one Not time. Buyback sucks. No, no. See, this this is one time I had um, buyback on my CM, and then we we're playing against a bat rider. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just walk down the cliff on a, in front of our tier three, and that bat rider is gonna lasso us, lasso me, and then have buyback, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what happened. So that was fucking amazing. I so did, you, I, that wasn't actually YOLO because you actually calculated it. Right. It's actually not YOLO because I have buyback, but... So you're 3 2 2 it all again. <laughs> There's three examples of 3 2 2 in this... In this uh, I don't even analysis. remember the first two. What are you talking about? Alright. Do you remember what the first two was? Yeah. What was it? You bet when you knew the answer. Oh, that's right. Okay. What else? The other time was, um... Almond? <laughs> Almond? Almond? Yeah. Right. Almond? Okay, I, I am gonna sign off now. I am done. If, if Fluff is definitely taking more questions, it's uh, Twitch TV slash Liquid Fluff. Um, thank you guys for watching the patch log analysis. If you haven't watched the folding, and if you do want to watch the folding, it's gonna be on my YouTube channel. Maybe tomorrow, so... Oh. You can watch the VOD on Twitch. If if you want to watch it there, apparently it's already available. Um, shh, I'm trying to send them to my YouTube dollars. Okay. You're killing me here. <laughs> and uh, how many supporters do you have? How many supporters I have? I think I have like six. I think. If you want to support <laughs> me, there are there are there is a purple button you could click somewhere on the screen. You can click it. 
uh, and it's not the chat button. Um, <laughs> you could, uh, you could, you could follow me on Twitch T, or not Twitch. Uh, you could follow me at Luminous Inverse on my Twitter and Facebook and, Facebook and YouTube yeah. and Instagram. Do you have Instagram. I think I do. I don't know. Uh, you could follow Liquid Fluff on Twitter, Twitch. Yeah. Do you have a Facebook? He has a page that I don't use it. No point. Okay. Uh, Just follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Fluff likes red, and I like blue and yellow. And uh, I'll be casting for Beyond the Summit in about three and a half hours. Rattlesnake versus Tongfu, guys. That's some lovely shit. Alright guys, uh, mod please keep spamming Twitch TV Fluff's link on the chat so I could log off. Hold on, I'm obligated to say something else. One second. No, you're to say that. What am I saying? You're not saying that. DPM is the best? No, I didn't write that. Okay, yeah, DPM <laughs> is indeed the best. I didn't write I'm obligated to say that. I did not. Good night, everybody. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to run some ads. One second. Don't go, guys. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm running ads, wow. guys. Alright. You could just mute the stream and, and run some ads. Look, I, I, I'd be real about it, you know? People like trying to be sneaky. Yeah. I'm just I'm even showing people. You know what? <laughs> I'm going the full amount. Three minutes. <laughs> thanks for thanks for the monies, please. <laughs> it's, it's nothing at all. You guys should definitely watch it. Watch the ads. Thank you for supporting. Don't put it on this. It's going to do the whole... Alright, good night. Did you close your stream yet? Not yet, right. man. Not yet. Alright, now I'm closing.